Across the United States, a silent war has been raging for decades, not against humans, but against a creature that's nearly unstoppable. The wild boar. Known scientifically as Sue Scrofa, this animal has cost America more than $2.5 billion every year in agricultural losses, property damage, and ecological destruction. But today, for the first time, science is turning the tide. Wild boars were first introduced to the U.S. centuries ago, but their population exploded after crossbreeding with escaped domestic pigs. What emerged was a hybrid species, larger, stronger, smarter, capable of surviving in every environment from Texas plains to Florida wetlands. Their adaptability became their weapon. Boars can eat almost anything, crops, roots, eggs, small animals, and even carrion. A single herd of 20 can destroy acres of farmland in one night. Farmers have reported entire corn and peanut fields uprooted before sunrise. They damage irrigation systems, contaminate water sources, and even spread diseases such as swine brucellosis and pseudorabies, threatening both livestock and wildlife. The USDA estimates that more than 6 million feral swine roam across at least 35 states, expanding their range every year. The U.S. government responded by creating the National Feral Swine Damage Management Program, a coordinated effort between scientists, farmers, and hunters. The program relies on a scientific approach combining GIS mapping, drone surveillance, DNA analysis, and behavioral ecology to track and reduce populations. Trapping alone wasn't enough, boars learned to avoid them. So researchers develop smart traps, equipped with remote cameras and sensors that only trigger when an entire sounder group enters, preventing partial captures and future avoidance. Science also helped decode their reproductive power. A female boar can produce two litters per year, with up to 12 piglets each time. Biologists call this exponential fecundity, meaning populations double faster than natural predators or hunters can control. Genetic studies reveal that sterilization through bait-based immunocontraceptives could slow their growth. Field tests in Texas and Florida have already shown promising results, reducing local populations by more than 40% within a year. Behavioral research has been equally vital. Wild boars are nocturnal and intensely territorial. They possess an acute sense of smell, detecting humans from over a mile away and use complex communication sounds to coordinate herd movements. Hunters often describe them as fearless and unpredictable. They can charge at speeds up to 30 miles per hour, turning from prey to predator in seconds. Yet, hunters remain at the front line of control. Using thermal optics, aerial surveys, and precision rifles, they target invasive herds that threaten farmland. In this scientific effort, hunting isn't just sport. It's an essential wildlife management tool that complements data-driven strategies. The results are emerging. States like Texas, Alabama, and Georgia are now seeing stabilized populations where coordinated management has been sustained for five years. By combining technology, biology, and field action, the U.S. has begun to manage what once seemed uncontrollable. The wild boar crisis isn't over, but the scientific approach has proven one thing. Knowledge can fight back. Through research, innovation, and relentless fieldwork, America is finally learning to outsmart the smartest invader it ever faced. <laughs>